Hey guys, and welcome back to iCraft MC. In the last episode, we went to the Nether and uh, did a bit of exploring there, although we didn't find a Nether fortress. And uh, yeah, we did uh, a bit of that, and we also got some Nether rack and some other materials, and it was some it was quite a positive and good video. Um, however, I was thinking we haven't actually explored much around. Uh, where we're living here, so I'm thinking today we're going to go exploring, and I want to start off by exploring uh, over there in the distance. If you look in the distance there, you can see some snowy looking trees, and so I was thinking we could do a bit of exploration over there and see if we can maybe find a village or some uh, other cool things in the in the wintry biome over there and just kind of see what we can find. Looks like there's some very tall mountains over there, and some icebergs over there too so hopefully we can make it there before the sun sets I made sure we have all of our supplies so we have a bed and we have all the uh, other things we'll need off for the trip and a bunch of food and hopefully we can uh, find some good stuff looks like there's a very tall snowy beach over there not sure what else we'll find it looks like these are actually some small islands so maybe oh no, it looks like there's some more in the distance over there let's see what we can find all right, it looks like we have, yeah, some small islands. And, uh, yeah, it looks like we've got some different things here. Get the shears out. We can get some of these ferns. Maybe a few ferns would be nice to decorate around our place. Yeah, I think, I think the two tall ferns give you two of the small ferns. And then I think you grow the tall ferns again by bone mealing the small ferns. Okay, so yeah, these are some small islands, I suppose. You can see our house in the distance there. Looks like we have a lot of sand over here. This would be a good place to collect sand in the future. Possibly. Got some a bit of a cave here. Quite interesting. The coal. I just grab that coal real quick. Alright, let's see. It looks like there's some more of the biome over there. Let's just make sure we know how to get back. I think so. I'll not to head back to these islands before heading all the way back. I'll just kind of see what kind of things we can find here and have some fun exploring. And yeah, hopefully there'll be a nearby village in the snow biome. Looks like the sun's about to set, so I'll set up a little camp here. Make sure to bring all the necessities so we have a bit of coal. Well, <laughs> that's not something I brought on purpose, but yeah, so we have some iron to remake some of our tools if they break. We have a bow and arrow so we can fight monsters if we need to. We have flint and steel if we ever need to uh, light something on fire. A shield for fighting skeletons. A bucket to scoop up liquids. A bed, of course, which we're sleeping in right now so that we won't be have to stay up at night. And also a few other uh, materials as well. I think we also have shears here so we can collect some items and, of course, a big stockpile of food. Yeah, so I think... Probably, let's see, what looks like the most the most uh, opportune place? Probably not the forest. We can head for the plains there. See what we can find. There could be a village there. There might not be. Hmm. Forest might be a good place to get some of the spruce wood later on. And possibly we can uh, use that to build another part of our uh, base area with our house and all that. Oh, looks like there's some kelp here. I'll try and avoid this area a little bit because if there's kelp that's up floating, it means that it's spawned over a ravine usually, and the ravines will push your boat down um, and can often drown you, so that's not something we want to get too near. So there's some sugar cane here. Doesn't look like there's too much around here. Let's see. Yeah, I'll have to head back to those islands there, and then from there we can get back to the house. See, I'm not sure if there's any good places to look out here. Maybe this mountain up here. So we got about a, we got a bit of a frozen river here. I'll show you guys something pretty cool. If you put your boat on ice of any type, it'll go very fast. You can see how how fast we're going here. It's quite quite crazy actually. Very hard to control. It's going this fast. Yeah, it can be a fast way to travel through icy and snowy biomes. So we can probably use this to get back to where we need to go. Yeah, we'll see. I, there might also be an igloo in here. We might find some polar bears. Uh, I guess it really depends on uh, 
how far we go. Looks to me like this biome is ending soon, so I think we can probably head off a bit further into the to the forest. The forest will probably end after a little bit. Yeah, and we just have to remember to keep going just about straight this direction, and then we can just go straight back. So you won't lose your way. A good way to not lose your way if you're exploring is to make sure to go in straight lines so that uh, when you're um, heading back you'll know pretty well exactly which direction to go. You just go exactly backwards. Because if you're kind of walking through without going straight then you don't really know which way you should be going. Yeah, I should probably collect a few saplings from these trees so we can get some of those. Let's see, I'm thinking this this will probably end here pretty soon. Should go to some more snow plains maybe or some ice spikes. Ice spikes is a really cool biome you can find in the in the snow areas. I don't know if I'll be able to find it here, but uh, it's possible. So there's a bit of a clearing up here. Uh, maybe not. Let's see. Very big snow forest. Just keep heading through here. All right. Let's see. Alright, it looks like we have chicken. Aha! We have found a chicken. This whole expedition is worthwhile. And Oh, look at this. Back to the ocean again. Hmm. This looks like a bit of a de uh, dead end to me. But I do think I see a shipwreck up there. So I think we'll, we'll take a look at the shipwreck first uh, before we uh, go a different direction. I don't think I'll go keep going straight here. I'll probably head back to those... Uh, to that snow plains we were in before. Yeah, there's definitely possibility for some treasure in the shipwreck here. I'm not sure if there will be any, but there's definitely a possibility for that. So it really depends. Uh, there's actually even the possibility of finding some bamboo in a shipwreck like this, which would be very nice. And bamboo is a really good item to build with, so possibly we could find that. Just make sure not to drown. Oh, there's a chest right here. Alright, we've got a buried treasure map. We could see if that's close, although I don't want to have another bad experience with the the treasure maps there. They often will glitch out. Um, let's see what's in here. Another chest there. And, oh, there is bamboo. Did you see that? We just have to get up before we drown. That's actually really good. Um, bamboo is a really important item to get, and that means we won't have to head to a, a jungle biome to get it. So see what we can do to get it. I'll get I'll grab all this. We got also some armor here. All that has is, uh that one has curse of binding, so that's not very useful. And there might actually be a third treasure chest we'll have to check. But yeah this bamboo here is super good. You only need one piece to grow an infinite supply, so that's really really good. Yeah and I don't think there's any more chests in here, so I'll just head on out and probably head back into the snow forest. Uh, yeah, probably straight back again, like I was saying earlier. Yeah, so basically with bamboo you can make scaffolding, which is not the newest addition to the game, but it is a, a newer item. It's definitely uh, not been around for very long, and it's quite useful because you can basically make these big structures out of the scaffolding and then just break the bottom block of it. It'll all kind of uh, fall down, so it's quite useful that way because then if you're actually going to use it as scaffolding, and you have it around whatever project you're building, then you don't have to go around the project breaking the blocks you used instead of um, scaffolding. So you can just put the scaffolding down and then just break one block and that whole stage is done. And it looks like we've actually found an igloo, which is quite nice. Looks uh, very nice. All right, let's see. So there's actually two types of igloos. Uh, there's one type that has a secret and one type doesn't. So see if this one has a secret. Uh, the secret's basically you break this and sometimes there's a little secret passage here but it doesn't look like we found one. That's still fine. I think we can probably still grab this bed and there's a redstone torch. I don't think I need anything else here really. Probably don't need the bed either. Maybe put these carpets back. I don't think we need those. Put it like that. Perfect. Pretty cool. We found uh, an igloo. Yeah, igloos can be quite useful because the other type with the secret there is a um, an underground like passage underneath those carpets, and basically, 
uh, from underneath those carpets, you go to a little room with um, some uh, treasure and also this cool little puzzle where you have to heal a villager. It's quite a fun thing, so maybe we'll find one of those one day, but I guess today is probably not that day. Yeah, good to find an igloo. See what else we can find maybe coming back here. Guys, had a glimpse of ocean out of the right hand side here, so uh, possibly there might be uh, we might, no it's not ocean, it looks like uh, we're going back to that plains biome then. Yes, I think we found our way back somewhat successfully, which is good. I think there's definitely still more to explore around here. Looks like this fades into plains biome up ahead. Let me just make sure I'm at the right place, and then if I am, uh, we can probably head off to that plains biome and see if there's a village there. Basically, the reason why uh, we, it's really important to find a village, which we just found, if you look over there, is that um, basically you need villages to trade with uh, villagers, and it's quite important uh, to trade with villagers because there's certain items you can only really get from them successfully. Something, For instance, you have uh, mending books, which are quite a useful addition to the game, and uh, with mending books you can... Uh, heal up your tools af even after they've lost their ability. So for instance, like the shovel I have, if you look at my hotbar, it's almost broken pretty well. Only one or two more uses will break it. But uh, with mending, you can just get some experience from killing mobs or from breeding animals or from breaking ores, and it'll actually heal up your item. Anyway, it's really great we found a village. Let's see how uh, kind of things we can find there. There's also a rabbit. I wish I had some carrots with me. And I hope there's not too many valuable items at the village here, because although valuable items are very good, we don't have much room, so we'll see how much of that we can hold. And look, now we're in a warm biome. Oh, look at this, we've got a ravine here. Hmm, very small ravine. Look at this, we got the happy music to match, and we found a village. That's really awesome. Let's see, um... Look at that. Found a village. Looks like quite a bustling village. Large, uh full village. Awesome. Well, the only thing I have to be careful to do is not to um, be here overnight, or if I am here overnight, to be very sure to go to bed. No, look, baby villager. <laughs> Hi, baby villager. Let's see what we have. Okay, we got some bread. Good. And you, yeah, the great thing about villagers is they can never actually use the items they have in the chest, so it doesn't bother them at all when you take their items. Yeah, so basically with villagers, each villager has a, a workstation that they use to, um, kind of they use it to trade with you, and that's how they refresh their trades, and basically, uh, yeah, and then there's also these guys called Iron Golems. Um, they, they're pretty well friendly to players unless you bother them, but then uh, basically what you have to do is uh, just be sure not to hit them or anything, and they'll be, they'll be nice to you. Uh, the only other, the cool thing about Iron Golems too is that, um, oh good, we found potatoes. The cool thing with Iron Golems too is that they'll actually defend the village from monsters, so if uh, any monsters are trying to kill the village, they'll defend it. Now, I think this is a carrot, is it? Oh, it is a carrot, that's perfect. If we just grab these carrots, then we can probably, uh, we can probably, let me just take everything, really. Uh, the villagers like to farm, but they don't actually need to, so we'll just grab all that. It looks like it's becoming night, so I'm just going to quickly place a bed down. And then we can just go to sleep here. Sun's setting. Good, let's see. Oh, I placed it on top of the flower, and we're sleeping on top of a flower tonight. <laughs> That's funny. Sleeping on top of a flower. Look at this, we're totally on top of it. Oh, that's funny. Oh, I just realized these are actually sunflowers, which means we're in a sunflower plains biome, which means we've found another useful item, which is sunflowers. And sunflowers are um, just a nice decorative flower that you can use for whatever you want, but uh, they're also good to make yellow dye out of because um, if you just take bone meal them once, you'll get, uh, you can basically double them by bone mealing them. And uh, when you, bone meal is, takes of course one uh, piece of bone meal to duplicate the flower, 
uh, but you actually get two dye when you turn the flower into dye, so it's kind of a good way of getting twice as much dye than you normally would, so. That was an awesome village. I think there's total potential with this. I'm really glad we found this. I want to see something funny here. Uh, where's the village? Or, uh, they're not out right now, but if you ring the bell, it gets them all scared and they'll kind of they'll think someone's attacking their village, so they'll kind of start running around. See, this guy has a green shirt, and that's uh, because he's what's known as a nitwit. And basically, a nitwit um, doesn't uh, get a job in... Uh, in Minecraft because I, I don't know what I guess they're too stupid to or I'm not sure but yeah so that's kind of interesting you can never have a nitwit with a job and then yeah, you have this guy here I think he's a mason so you see on the trading interface here they have a certain item and if you give them 10 of that item then they'll give you an emerald and then if you give them an emerald they'll give you 10 bricks now of course they don't always buy and sell things in groups of 10, but it kind of works like that. You sell them things for emeralds, and then you buy things from them for emeralds. So if I have found a villa, um, a farmer, for instance, I could sell them potatoes and carrots, and then they would uh, give me emeralds for that. But I can't, don't have anything to sell to him right now. He wants clay balls, and I don't have any, any clay balls. Hmm. I don't remember where this village is. So what I might do is I might make a pathway, uh, just a simple pathway, from uh, our house to the village, um, just up to the ocean, uh, just over there, just so that we can basically see where it is and we can find it again. So I'll just chop down a tree here so we can get some more wood, and then I'll probably make a, a few more iron shovels to to turn the, the dirt into path blocks. Yeah, it's nice with path blocks because it, it doesn't really take much effort to mark out an area, but it's also, uh, of course, it's quite easy to make shovels, so it's quite good. And we actually have a lot of little random items on us I don't think we need, so I'll probably just uh, put a chest down here and then just put all those items in here. Uh, I don't think we need this kelp or this birch plank or uh, I don't think we need this uh, these pants and hat here. And uh, I don't believe we would need the... Uh, no, I think everything else here we need. So we'll keep all that, but it'll just kind of keep things a little easier to manage. Good. And we'll start... Uh, actually, I think we still need to craft something. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, we need to craft a shovel. So and well, let's not make that out of bamboo. That would be disastrous. We want to keep our bamboo to, to grow more bamboo. Because although you can turn bamboo into sticks, that's not really its main purpose. Its main purpose is to uh, make scaffolding and also for uh, kind of a good plant decoration. So yeah, we'll just make this pathway. I think we can maybe three wide or even just one wide would probably be good. We don't have too much time to make it three wide. We can probably always do that later. Eventually we could possibly make a a minecart trail from from uh, the village to our house, or maybe we can make a tunnel in the Nether. Um, what's cool about making tunnels through the Nether is that basically, for every block you travel in the Nether, uh, you travel eight blocks in the overworld uh, by the distance that it would be if you traveled through a portal where that is. So I might have not explained that very well, but. Basically what that means is that, uh, let's say I had two portals that were um, 100 blocks apart in the nether. Uh, if you went through one portal and it was at, let's say, coordinate 0, 0, um, x and y, and then you went 800, uh, 100 blocks in the x-axis through the nether, then you would at, be at uh, uh, 800, 0. So basically, uh, whatever amount you travel, you, it would be times by eight when you go back through the portal, and so it's just kind of a ooh, poppies or not poppies, not poppies at all, tulips. Uh, but yeah, just a good way of traveling quite quickly because you can travel roughly eight times as fast as you would just by walking through the uh, the overworld. Yeah, so I think I'll make the tunnel, not tunnel. It's not a tunnel at all. I think I'd make the path over here. Yeah, that's probably good. I'll make a little dock of sorts, I think. 
big like that, and then kind of three like that maybe. That's a little bit basic, but uh, good enough I think. And then yeah, we can set sail from here and head back to our house. Actually, yes, I think we'll head back to our house. Yeah, it looks like we got some forest over there and some mountains. There's the snow biome. Yeah, so I believe we have to head to these islands here, and then from there we should be able to see our place, so... Yeah. Let's see, I think... Yeah, cause I think we headed to these, these crazy-looking snow islands. And then that's probably right ahead there, that's our place, so... Really, I think we just need to go from... If you look behind me, you can kind of see that little bit of wood I don't I don't know if you can see it but it's in the corner there and then we just have to basically go straight forward and I think that should lead us to back to our house which is awesome yeah let's take a look and I think this is well it looks like it this plains biome there awesome well I think yeah, I can see the mesa biome over there and I think we've got lots of items back now that we have carrots and potatoes we can finally grow those and we can probably start eating mostly more potatoes than bread since potatoes are a much better source of food and yeah I think that should be awesome and I think uh, yeah because once we just we all we really need of each is one and so once we even have one potato or one carrot we can have an infinite number of them eventually and that should be uh, enough to uh, live off of so you can see the house loaded in there weird and we can just head over to there. I think we need to build a dock soon so that we can get from our house to the village quite quickly by water. Either that or we could build a tunnel through the nether I suppose. That might be a quicker way of doing it, although I'm not sure how much quicker. It's not too far. Yeah, here we are back at the home. I'd just like to thank you guys for watching this video. Subscribe if you enjoyed this content and like the video uh, if you enjoyed it as well and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. Thank you for watching. Bye!